Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the illustrious interview series entitled Who That? My name is Jordan Scott Edwards, and today we bring you an interview with one of the most influential, the most important Italian men of all time. Lead interviewer Robert Andogo will bring you this interview with a man with a great appreciation for fine jewelry. <laughs> That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you 10 questions with Vincent Cellini. Thanks, Jordan, and welcome to another episode of Who Dat? This week, we have Vince Cellini. Thanks, Rob. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. No problem. So, it's your first question. How do you like your pizza? Um, I really like pepperoni and Italian sausage. And how do you like it done? Very, very well done. Yeah. Like a volcano. Some would say burnt. Some would say that. Mm -hmm. But others would say well done, like me. That's interesting. Okay. So, Fazoli's. Good Italian or great Italian food? There's one answer to this. Fazoli's is my arch enemy. Mm -hmm. It is the bane of my existence, and it is not the best or even the only Italian to choose from. In fact, if it were up to me, I would burn Fazoli's down and urinate, and maybe defecate on its ashes. That's interesting, because some people say their breadsticks are in fact the best in the business. Yeah, their breadsticks are okay. That's good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. So who's your favorite video game character and why? Um, my favorite character is a gentleman by the name of Cody from Street Fighter, or originally Final Fight, if you want to go back that way. Mm -hmm. I think he's cool because he just has a I don't give a shit attitude, and also has a knife and a rock and some other cool stuff. Hmm, okay, that's interesting. That's very interesting. So, how does this picture make you feel? Oh, oh my. Um. Uh, can, can we come back to this for a sec? Yeah, yeah, we, we can come back later. That's fine. Okay. So, uh, what are your top three tips for getting women? My top three tips are to, well, first off, never bang them, because that works really well. I'm in a very serious relationship, well, almost at three years. Right, that's good. And the trick is to not bang them, okay. ever. Ever. Because that way you'll keep them around. You'll keep them wanting more. Exactly. Because it's so rare that when it finally happens, it's amazing. <laughs> My second tip is to uh, learn how to cook, because women also like that. They like a man who can cook, because, well... Then they don't have to. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, delicious food is good. Mm -hmm. And my third tip is, once again, to never have sex with them ever. Um, it really <laughs> is a really successful technique that I've developed over these past three years. And, uh, yeah, it's really working out for me. So who would you go gay for? Hmm, that's a question I've pondered a few times, but uh, I've really, I gotta say I'm settling on Captain Planet, because, well, he's our hero, he is. and he's gonna take pollution down to zero. Also, he's blue and has a green mullet. Much like Al Gore. Much like Al Gore. Al Gore, but he's not so hot. Mm -hmm. He's not like Captain Planet. He's not. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you love your girlfriend? Uh, I would say a 10. I love her very much, and that goes back to those tips from earlier, I'm telling you. That's interesting. I hope she feels the same. Let's all hope so. Uh, we do. And, uh, how do you keep your locks so luscious? The hair is just fantastic. <sighs> well, you're not the first to ask me this question, Rob. And I gotta be honest, it's something I'm not willing to discuss. Because it won't be the last time it's asked. I certainly hope not. So what made you decide to wear such fine jewelry, and what kind of feedback have you gotten from the community about it? Well, I've always thought that I would look pretty alright with some fine jewelry on me, on my person. Uh, but the community feedback so far has just been absolutely the opposite of what I expected. Um, people th now mistake me for a homosexual. <laughs> Don't know why. Really, that's surprising. Uh, you know, it is. I was thinking that too. Um, other people have said that, uh, uh I, no, it's pretty much only I'm, I'm a giant homosexual, and I just don't get it. So now our last question comes from the fans and the community. Um, do you have a name for your penis, and if so, what? 
Uh, actually, I do. It's a little bit unusual. Um, it's Acipensar oxyrhynchus, which is actually the scientific name of the sturgeon, which is a fish. You see, I like to study marine biology, mm. and uh, Acipensar is like a jagged fish with a pointy nose and like barbels, little whiskers sticking out of it. Much like your penis. Much like my penis. That's, that's good to know. And that was Who Dat with Vince Cellini. Anything else? <laughs>